this track. But again, he's the he's the points leader. Oh, oh. Mario Marias has crashed hard in turn two, I would think. Wow. A lot of debris on the racetrack. But again, with power, it's a lot tougher being the guy leading than the guy chasing. And I just think that's a little bit of what you see of that being conservative. And we wait, obviously, and good. There's movement in yep. the cockpit. But as soon as you know he's okay, people start thinking, okay, what happened strategy-wise? They didn't pit that long ago. The leaders all a half, in my view, have to pit and take the yellow. This could be a time a few people gamble. This could be a time that a few people who want to make up some positions can stay out. Well, you still are going to have to make two more stops after this regardless. Hideki Muto's on board. Look ahead. Coming near the bump. Right there. He's high. Oh. You know, that was more sparks than just a bump. It looks yeah. like the car may have let down. Yeah, because there's big sparks on the left-hand side of the car. Left rear. The left rear, and your load actually should be to the right. So that big of a spark there. Um, it's almost like something let the car down on the left rear. Now, he's not out yet. I mean, he certainly was moving. Yeah, he was signaling. He, he was yeah. signaling, come, come to me. Right. Yeah, it looks like he's climbing out. Here's another angle on the left. Up higher, yeah. There's big spark. That that mm. that third spark we saw, yeah. which is really the one. Set, I mean, that was that was that's not just the little titanium skid blocks and running running low. Yeah, he has not yet gotten out of the race car. And Kevin Kalkoven and Jimmy Vassar of KV Racing Technology, they have had a very tough season in terms of wrecked race cars. Turns my stomach. Yeah, um, well, you as know, a car owner, you've... It's, but it is part of the business, but I, I think the number is is absolutely north of 30 incidents that, yeah. that those guys have had at KV. And, um, you know, you, you just... You get, they're going to have to go back, put this car back together go to Homestead. I mean, you, you just can't get out of it. You got to just keep working through it. If you would have had a single spark, that could have been a bump on the road. But when it continues to spark like that, like you said, Robbie, it continues to drag. That doesn't make sense unless something's let down. Yeah, and again, I just think of the, the load transfer in the car should be more on the, the right side. I mean, sure, you have tilt in the car and, and what you're doing with how you level the platform with regards to the load the car takes. But, but that was a significant sparking. Marias' best finish this year was at Long Beach back in April. He finished sixth, and he also came in seventh at Edmonton on the uh, road course there. Well, rem remember a year ago, he was on the provisional pole here, started on, on the front row, so uh, not been the couple days he's wanted returning to a track that had good memories. It's like they're getting the back brace out, the board. Well, they're the, they're the best in the business of just knowing what to do and the procedures of doing it. Mario Marias has been lifted from the car. He uh, was put on a stretcher. He is talking uh, with his rescuers in, uh, in animation. His, his arms are moving and his legs are moving. And so hopefully this is just a precautionary thing, but uh, they are taking no chances and uh, putting him on the back brace and the stretcher. Our third caution period of the afternoon. Um, Bertrand Baguette crashed, and then Alex Lloyd car had problems on the racetrack.